Okay, guys. So this is uh, mix assignment three for your beat matching. Um, you're going to discover an experiment with the weight and cross fader functions in mix. Okay. So basically, what we have to do is load two different songs whose tempi, their speed, speed and BPM, which is what? Uh, beats per minute. Good. Um, make sure that their tempi, their measured in beats per minute, are close. Okay, and load them into decks one and two. And then you can use the sync button to match the tempi of the two songs. You have a plus or minus 10 to work with, so they need to be within 10 beats per minute of each other in order for that to work right, okay? So, bring up your mix, and let's choose, if you look over here under BPM, which I've moved, okay, you're going to see the beats per minute. You want to pick two that are close that are less than 10 beats per minute apart, okay? If you don't see that category, you're going to have to uh, full screen and scroll over. It might be over here somewhere, and you can click and drag it back to where you want it. Okay, so um, I'm going to pick triangle waves, which is 90 beats per minute, and ace in the hole, okay? So, Let's get to a, a good point in the song. Good, okay. And line up the beat grid right there. And let's get to a decent part in this song. Whoops, that was a wrong track. Okay, and line it up here okay now in order to sync them okay we want the beats per minute which shows up here okay we want them to be the same in both tracks in order to do that we need to click the sync button okay if I click the click the sync button on deck one it's going to change the tempo of the track loaded into deck one to match that of the tempo of the track loaded into deck two. So if I click this, now 90 changed to 87. You see that? If I were to do the same thing with the other track, then it would change the other one from 87 to 90. Perfect. Doesn't matter for this assignment which one you do. I don't care, right? Doesn't matter. This at this point you're only matching two songs. So it doesn't matter if you make one faster or the other one slower doesn't matter, okay? Once you're done with that, make sure that the uh, beats are lined up, okay? So that your green, green beat marker here lines up with the white as close as you can, okay? Then you want to start both tracks at once, okay? Something like this. You can use the shortcut keys on your keyboard, which are D for deck one and L for deck two. If you press them at the same time, Okay, I was in drawing mode. Now you should see them moving at the same time. Okay, then we can use a crossfader while it's playing. Okay, now we're only hearing deck one because I moved the crossfader to the left. When I move the crossfader to deck one, to the right, you hear the one song moving over to the other, right? Then you go back. Then you go back. And that is it. Okay? Now, if I were to record, would have recorded that, then that would have been my thing. But I didn't. So let's record it real quick. Go to Options, Record Mix. Okay? And we'll start on both at the same time again. Now I'm only playing the left one because it's on the left. Fading to the right. One, two, three, four, two. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Hear how you can like tap your foot or bop your head to the same speed of both songs? That means that they are feet matched. Okay? That's all you gotta do. Go back and forth a couple times. 
and then stop the recording and you can stop the music and you're done that's it okay then you're going to find your recordings whoops what it enables key for shortcuts okay view full screen you can find your recordings where guys music folder right open up your folder you when you're using windows go to music mix okay recordings and then you want the newest one okay so today is 129 so there's my recording right there okay you upload that to soundcloud change the name to mix assignment 3 beat matching okay put on your blog and tell me what you did and the, give me the original name of the song and the artist who did it, and you're done.